Welcome everyone, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is on Dynamo and Revit and how to use Dynamo to change the names of all the room names so that they go from lowercase to uppercase. Sometimes when you're working in Revit and you're in a rush, you may just label all your rooms like so. And if your office has a standard that says all of them need to be in caps, it kind of is cumbersome to have to go through and rename them properly. You can either select the room object and change the name over here, or you can double click slowly on the piece of text annotation and change it there. Or if you have a schedule of rooms, you can do it from the schedule. But if you have a lot of rooms, it takes a long time. So if you use Dynamo, this will help you out a little easier. Head over to the Manage tab of the ribbon. Head over to the Dynamo command or use the Dynamo player to run the script. I'm going to open up Dynamo so you can look at the script and see how it functions. You can look at the Dynamo script from within the Dynamo player too. You can activate that command. Um, so if you give it a second, Dynamo should start up. And once it starts up, <clears throat> we can go ahead and open up that file. So here I have one for change room name to all uppercase. Clicking open. And this is the script. Uh, when you start to learn Dynamo, <clears throat> One of the things that you want to try to start getting into the habit of doing is grouping your content into text boxes with a title and color coding them to help you with what information pertains to what type of data you're dealing with. For example, an overview box that explains what version of Dynamo you're using, who created it, and so on. Um, <clears throat> what um, nodes did you use to input data? What nodes did you use to create the, any kind of design? What nodes did you use for cross-checking content? And then any uh, output information can go to another grouping. So this particular one I received from uh, Masha. She is an Autodesk University speaker from last year. I was lucky enough to be one of her assistants. And this is one of her scripts that she wrote for um, making this happen. So if we look at the script, we can zoom in and we can see that it's telling the software to select all the elements of the category of rooms. From there, we're looking for the name of the room, that parameter, and we're turning into a string <clears throat> such that it's updating those room elements by name, creating that list count, and then checking to see if there are rooms and it uh, finds them, it'll change them. And uh, if there are no room objects, then there'll be a little alert window that pops up that says, hey, there are no rooms in this project. Um, <clears throat> and then this is the if uh, true or false condition for that situation. And then there is a Python script that is written um, for the purposes of popping up the window prompt within the Revit interface. So I'm going to close Dynamo Player. And I can head over to the Dynamo Player here interface. And this opens up, and it's like a little tool palette. <clears throat> you can move it around. You can tell it what scripts to look for. And there's one here that says, um, change room names to all uppercase. Now. If you need to, you can resize this because sometimes when you're working with uh, Dynamo and you're giving it a title for the script, it might be a little long. So you might want to change the width of the Dynamo player. Here, I can click play and it will run. I can click this little icon here to edit the inputs. And I can click here to get it opened up in the actual Dynamo interface, which is what we did earlier with this command up here. So for now, I'm going to click this little icon for edit inputs. And your Dynamo player should change 
the interface. And it basically says looking at the rooms. So when I click play, it will run this script on all the objects. It will find them and it'll say whether it function or not. It says great, just got changed to uppercase, click close, and all of them get changed. See? So it's a nice little script that functions really well um, and it's simple to use. So thank you very much for watching.